You have cock. Remember cock. Good. So cock. Please give me cock. Oh, please give me cock. I want a cock. Please give me cock. Cock. Ah, please give me. What's please give me? And ask them the price of cock. How much is this? All right, gang, check it out, check it out. I'm going to kill the backup music here. We got the guys from, well, two guys anyway, from Cell 13 with us in the world headquarters here. We got Chad and Billy with us tonight. Guys, how, how's it going, man? It's going great. Yeah. Just another beautiful Scranton night. Yeah, right, <laughs> right. Awesome, guys, awesome. And and thanks, thanks, guys, for uh, hanging out with us tonight. And, you know, awesome, nice awesome to have you. Awesome. Uh, uh, give us a little history on Cell 13, man. You got this. Well, we started in what? 2012. 2012. And, you know, we've been going pretty much ever since. Took a couple breaks. Had a couple guys that just weren't cut out for us, but I think we got a pretty solid lineup now. Many, many lineup changes. Yeah, yeah. yeah the situation normal, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So, you got a pretty, pretty solid lineup now. You say? So far, yeah, yeah. The the two main staples are me and Billy. Um, between people going to jail, between people <laughs> robbing houses, fucking ex. Well, not fucking girlfriends you know it, it's a long history yeah. so I figured I would give it to Billy so he could short it, shorten it down yeah <laughs> cool so, so 13 pretty cool name how'd you guys come up with it man oh that's a secret yeah that's a secret I don't know should we yeah. release the secret tell him um, uh, world exclusive here, yeah. guys. Check it out. <laughs> when Charles Manson, after he got convicted for the Sharon Tate murders and everything, um, his cell on death row was cell 13. So, oh, no shit. Yeah, when he was on death row. He's not on death row anymore, of course, but that's where cell 13 came from. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. That, that, that's, that's pretty cool, honestly. And it just sounds cool. It does, know? right? <laughs> well, you know, Cell 13, and I thought maybe it was one of you guys that got <laughs> 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 you know, no. you know, a, a tribute to your uh, j juvenile past or something. You know? <laughs> but that that's even cooler, man. Handsome. Yeah. <laughs> I, I normally don't tell people that now. Everybody knows. Yeah. So. I've told people I don't know. It's a secret. You're an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, uh, songwriting, man. Tell us about the song. One person effort? Is it a group effort? How do you guys go about writing your tunes? Um, I mainly write, and then we all get together, and then we add different elements. Most of all the lyrics are by me. I'll come up with a riff. Billy, you come up with a riff. You know. It's give and take. It's it's everybody. It's not just me. It is everybody, though. Cool. So you you basically come up with the with the bass and then the, the you know the 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 bass layer and then everybody else yep. yeah. and they throws their, on top they, of it. they they add their own flavor. Yep. Sweet, sweet. And that that's that's cool, man. That's the cool way to do it, man. It's not yeah. just one guy calling the shot. I didn't write this note for you. No. You didn't play it like that, so yeah. that, that's I like. I let Billy do whatever, and our current drummer Ronnie, he's a phenomenal musician. He's all around. He can play the bass, the drums, the guitar. He has great vocals and everything. And I let him write if he wants to write a riff. I'll, I'll let anybody do anything. Just it turns out that we use a lot of the stuff that I write. No, that's cool, man. Cool. Now, you know, I did get the chance to see you guys once at the uh, Nayok Festival. That was cool, man. That was cool. I'd like to see you 
Yeah. Do it like an indoor uh, venue, but yeah. that, that you know, because there, there's always you know y'all yeah. that difference from indoors outdoors. But you guys, you guys were killer that night, man. <laughs> that that was cool, and that was my first time seeing yeah. this. So that you guys, that Thanks. was cool. That was actually the day I played bass. Yeah, yeah. Because our bass player Eric wasn't there; he was at a wedding, I believe. But no matter what, if we have a show and somebody can't make it, we still play. Some somebody yeah, fills in. Let's see. Sometimes it's like a, a a mini version. Right, right. As long as, the, as, long as the drummer can make it, because none of us could really play yep. drums. <laughs> as long as Ronnie can make it, he will. We will play the show. But like we have a show coming up in a week, and Billy won't be there, and he's not mad about it. Are you mad about it? No, no. because there's <laughs> going to be many more Cell Thirteen shows that you can play. <laughs> that, that's cool. That, that's cool. Because, you know, you hear a lot of times, uh, you know, other bands, uh, somebody couldn't make it. And now, you know, that that's a thorn in somebody's side, you know. Yeah. Like, oh, what the fuck, you know, this yeah. fuck, he's not fucking dedicated or, you, you know what I mean? Yeah. You know. I know everybody in Cell 13 is dedicated and I love them for it. Uh, but I also understand, you know, people have kids, people have, have lives, lives, have jobs, exactly. you know, like, that's totally fine. But as me, as I stand, I'm going to keep going, whether or not, like, they could make it and they could hop back on. I would never kick somebody out of the band because they couldn't make it. Now, if it's a continuous thing or they end up in jail <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. or well, something along those lines. It's, it's kind of hard yeah. to... You know, show up for a gig if you're behind bars. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's cool, man. So, how would you guys describe your sound to people? Chaotic. Yeah. I mean, disorienting. I I don't know a lot of things. We try to make it heavy, though. Yeah, always. Heavy. As long as it's heavy, it's, that's all that matters, really. Yep. You're not the most technical band. By any means, that's but, that's that's the problem. Too many bands are technical yeah. these days. Got to take it back to a uh, simple, simple but heavy, groovy. I don't know. We we take many influences: punk rock, metal, sludge, stuff like that. Hardcore, especially like the old eighties hardcore bands, like you know, Negative Approach, Black Flag. I don't know, stuff like that. In my lyrics, I, I don't know, I would go along the lines of, like, I, t I take a lot from, like, you know, I don't take, but a lot of influences, like, hip-hop. I listen to a lot of hip-hop when I write lyrics because of the word formations and, like, you know, the rhyming and, you know, the flow of words. Right, right. You know? Which is weird because... I, I, you know, I talked to a couple people that have told me, oh, you know, that sounds like a good idea, but it's kind of weird. You guys are like a metal band. But now, but, you guys play what you would listen to. Exactly. Not what sells. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. I will no. never play what sells. I don't think I know how to play what sells. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, no, you're, but you're, you're not doing it like this. We're, we're gonna make this song like this, and it, it's gonna sell, and we're gonna put a couple dollars in our pocket. You got, you know, you guys are doing it for the right reasons, man. Yeah. Well, thank That's... you. I can't even remember the last time we made a goddamn cent off of anything. We <laughs> yeah, I know. Definitely not doing it for dollars. No, <laughs> no. We, we're we're definitely in the negative cash funds. Well, of anything. you know, and that's the thing, man. This day and age, if you're doing it for dollars, you're in the yeah. wrong business, man. Nope. <laughs> Like, what, I, I work, like, 40, 45 hours a week. You know, we got jobs. We got family. One of us have a kid. Yeah. Which, you know, but this is very much a passion and a love for it. I can never stop doing it. No way. It's fun. Took it, I took a year off, and I went insane. Yeah. <laughs> I hate I, that, that. For that little while, when we took a break, it was, I was itching. I ended up married. What else can I say? Well, there, there. See? See? Fucking idle hands, man. Yep. That, that'll... <laughs> Guys, uh, you, you play a lot of shows, right? For, for the most part. 
best and worst things about the live gigs, man? The best thing is the more that we play, especially in the city of Scranton, more people are coming out, which is awesome. Definitely need more people to come out to the underground hardcore and punk shows and metal shows and shit like that. What do you think is the worst thing, though? Worst thing? I'm going to let you do this. Uh, I hate playing clubs that have, like, sound restrictions. Like, yeah. 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 We like to play loud. I hear you. I loud. hear you. We're Very loud. loud. And and we don't have our sound if we're not loud. Yep. So like some of the bars downtown, they're like, Oh, you're way too loud. You gotta turn it down to like downtown? Yeah. Yep. No almost shit. zero. I mean we play at the Irish Wolf Pub all the time and, and The Irish Wolf Pub they let I you do whatever you want to do. Yeah. Is the most premier like metal spot in Scranton. In my terms, you know, like like I said, underground stuff. The Irish Wolf Pub. Definitely. Play as loud as you want. It's a beautiful thing down there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Peter Kennedy, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, man. So, dude, um, most memorable moment so far, man. <laughs> uh, What's yours? My most memorable moment. Hmm. I really liked the time that. We were playing our one song, and it has like a pretty heavy like breakdown in it. And uh, my ex girlfriend ended up getting punched in the face. <laughs> <laughs> That's <was> pretty cool. <laughs> Holy fuck! We're not uh, advocating domestic violence here, folks. No. But that hey, was I funny. didn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what is? I I don't know. I can't pick my most memorable memory. I can't. I I don't know. All right, guys. Well, let, let's do this. Let's take it to the other side, man. All right. Spinal Tap moments. What do you got for us? <laughs> Every second. <laughs> <of them. Yeah. laughs> uh, oh. <laughs> just being in a band with Billy. That, yeah. That's just <laughs> enough. My amp loves to do this thing where it just decides to not work, like, as soon as we, like, are up on stage ready to play. Oh. <laughs> Tune up, know. you know. Play through the amp a little bit. As soon as we start the first song, his amp loves to cut out. <laughs> it's always his amp, too. Always. Oh, shit. That's great. Well, guys, let's play a song, man. Pick one. Tell us the title. Uh, Grip of Doom, which is track number one. All right. I got to take your word for it, man. <laughs> I, I, we'll, we'll see. Either way, it's a Cell 13 song. <laughs> All, right, man. All right, listeners, check this out. Group of Doom from Cell 13. We'll be right back with Chad and Billy.
All right, gang, we're back with Chad and Billy. Cell 13, guys. Uh, killer tune, man. Awesome. Um, Thank you. Uh, you know, I, I listened to, as a matter of fact, both, both the CDs you gave me. They're, they're fucking killer, man. Thank killer. You. Thanks. <laughs> you know? <laughs> All right, we need more of that. We do. We need more of that. Um, these are uh, questions for each of you. Uh, we'll start with Chad, man. When did you first start playing? When did you know that this is what you wanted to do? As soon as I picked up a guitar. As soon as I picked up a guitar, I knew this is exactly what I want to do for the rest of my life. Between Pantera, Guar, and Nirvana, <laughs> I knew this is what I wanted to do for the rest of my life. And here I am. I was, I was like um, 11, 12. Oh shit! Pretty young, yeah, yeah. Billy, how about you, man? Uh, kind of like the same thing. As soon as I uh, got a guitar, I got got a guitar when I was, I don't know, maybe like fourteen, fifteen years old. Started taking lessons. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna name drop them right now. The Joe DeLeo at uh, the music scene down in Pittston. Okay, he's been my guitar teacher since I start since I had a guitar. Uh, he's a great guitar player and. Um, he dealt with me bringing in like black flag CDs and lawnmower <laughs> and stuff like that. Whereas he's like a very good like jazz and blues uh, musician, so he yeah, didn't quite other, understand it. But the there. he still taught me those songs. That's cool, man. That's cool. So your personal musical influences, Chad. Who do you, who would you say? Oh. Definitely, I hate God. Buzz Oven, Gigi Allen, uh, The Mentors, um, Sheer Terror, um, Pantera, Guar, and a lot of blues music, musicians, a lot of blues. It's cool. For me. Cool. There, there's. It's like it could be a long list. I'm gonna keep it short. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Billy? Uh, same as him. A lot of I hate God. You know, it's, uh, crowbar. I've been like playing like some fast stuff, like thrash metal, stuff like that. Midnight. Yeah, Midnight. Midnight. My like one of my new favorite bands. Um, and a lot of punk. Lots of punk. Cool, man, cool. So, Big Four, you got your opinions on the Big Four, man. Uh, Slayer, they should have stopped a long time ago. <laughs> I despise Anthrax. Metallica should have stopped a long time ago. <laughs> I'm going to say it now, and this is a shout-out to my boys in Erie, <laughs> Maniacal Device. Um, what was the name of that song? What was it like? Some like, what? It, it should have been, been Lars, Lars. <laughs> not Cliff, and Megadeth. Oh. I fucking love Megadeth. Billy, I think they're all pretty great. Yeah, yeah. Of course you do. <laughs> not so much Metallica. I mean, I like like Kill 'Em All. And the old stuff. Yeah, man. The, old the old stuff. stuff. Like, now, like, I think it's pretty. Not, tacky. not their sellout days, right? Yeah, no. <laughs> I, 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 I like Anthrax. I like. Megadeth, I like Slayer. It's all great. Awesome, <laughs> awesome. Guys, uh, let me see here. When you're not writing, rehearsing, playing the gigs, man, what do you do for a day off, man? What do you do for fun? Chad. Masturbation and sleep. <laughs> That's it. Well, <laughs> no pun intended, but it kind of goes hand in hand. Right? <laughs> video games. Um, a lot of video games. I collect horror movies, too. All, like, mainly only on VHS. I'm a VHS hunter. Uh, yeah, that's about it. I, I don't lead a very interesting life. <laughs> I really don't. Well... Masturbating to horror <laughs> flicks. I don't know, man. <laughs> How about you, Billy? What's uh, up, man? 
I, I like to drink a lot of beer. <laughs> <laughs> Drinking beer is like my second favorite thing to do. <laughs> second. <laughs> Oh shit! Well, that's pretty much what you do on your time off. Yeah. That's what exactly what you do. That's what uh, I'm gonna do when I leave here. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! That's great, man. Uh, uh, guys, uh, let's let's do another song, man. This this is fucking great. Let's do another song. All right. Uh, let's do Prisoner. I don't know what track it would be though. Track thirteen. Track thirteen. Prisoner. Yep. All right. Check it out, gang. Prisoner from Cell 13. Off our demo. We'll be right back with Chad and Billy. All right, gang, we're back with Chad and Billy, Cell 13. 
Uh, another awesome tune, guys. Thank you. Uh, honestly, you know, again, it, it, it's raw. It's fucking right to the point. It's a punch in the fucking throat. It's killer, man. It's Thank killer you. shit. <laughs> and, it, and, you know, and you know, you touched on a little bit before, but it's not fucking overly polished or overly produced. And, mm -hmm. you know, and it, it's fucking... It's raw. It's fucking. It, it's awesome, man. Awesome shit. Thanks. Awesome. Uh, uh, you know, we're talking a little bit here about the scene, different bands and whatnot. Uh, your, your opinions of our our scene here, Ch Chad? Uh, <laughs> dude, if I put you on the spot, I apologize, man. Uh, no, I'm I'm good. Um, I I believe I. Uh, more bands should find their their own sound. I believe a good number of the bands around here sound almost identical, and I just wish people would find their own sound. But also, there's really, really, really good bands, in my opinion, in this area. Foul Taste. Yeah. Help me out. Like, Foul Taste is one. They're amazing. Um, Dick Splint, Hash Grinder, Hash Grinder. They're not local. Yeah, they're, they're from the Poconos, but still, Hash Grinder's really good. Vulture Peak is Vulture amazing. Vulture Peak has to be one of my favorites. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I'm just gonna say it. Incest Burner. They're not local. They're from Norway. <laughs> by <laughs> Incest Burner. Dude, Definitely my favorite. I, and you, you know, you were talking. And I was like, that that would be a fucking awesome interview, man. I gotta get them on they, here. They gotta. Be, they gotta. Dude, that would be fucking killer. Billy, what's your opinion, man? Uh, I love Scranton's metal scene, punk scene. I think there's a lot of really talented people out here and uh, I think it's going on it's going a little unnoticed compared to our neighbors over in Wilkes Bear. Yeah. They have a thriving hardcore scene, but they're a bunch of yuppies. <laughs> they're a bunch of assholes. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Shots yeah. fired. Wow! Wow! Oh, uh, you know, I, well, dude, no, we are I'm, as truthful as truthful. Dude, could let me be. tell you, there, I, that is nowhere near the worst thing that's ever been said on this okay. show. All right, dude, I had this one dude, and uh, it was about the time there was shit going on over in the Middle East, and he's going off. Man, those fucking cocksucking Israelis, and he he went on a whole political <laughs> rant. So, <laughs> you know, so. <laughs> that, that, if it's been said, it's been uh, said on the uh, show, right. man. Well, uh, <laughs> Wilkes-Barre, get your shit together, open your mind and doors to other bands, and let them in your goddamn city. <laughs> you know, if you're going to book shows, bring in other bands. Don't have, like, three or four of your buddies makeshift a goddamn band. You look like a goddamn joke. That's all I got to say yeah. about that. You guys have no heart. That's what I'm saying. You guys have no heart and no passion. Get your shit together. Straight from the mouth of Chad from Cell 13. You already hate me enough. Hate me a little bit more. That's it. Now you, you've been blacklisted. That's it. You can't go to Luzerne. I've been blacklisted <laughs> ever since. You can't, you can't go to Luzerne County now, man. I live in it. <laughs> you have to sneak them across the border. <laughs> Like fucking Hogan's Hero shit, man. <laughs> digging tunnels and shit. <laughs> <laughs> fucking digging tunnels all the way to fucking Luzerne. That would be fucking <laughs> Take the fucking mines. <laughs> there, there is good bands from up that way. There, there is. Are, there, there is. Uh, Beyond Fallen, man. I love those fucking guys. Yeah. They kick ass. Yeah. No, it, it's not even like, you know, metal bands. Because metal bands from the that area are really... Good guys. Yeah, it's the hardcore scene. Yeah, you know, like that title fight. Bleh. <laughs> Who else? I don't know. Fuck them all. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I'll I'll name drop them if I can remember them. All I can remember is title fight. Love oh. world. Ooh, <laughs> no shit. Sorry. So now you know. Now this is something new to me. Would you say there's a Wilkesbury, Scranton, East Coast, West Coast type deal going on, or yes, yeah, yeah, they might not know it, <laughs> <laughs> but there certainly is. But uh, you know, it happened uh, many, many years ago. It, it's you know the 
it's more of a punk rock thing, I guess you could say. You know, like we wouldn't go to their shows in Wilkesbury. They wouldn't come to the shows in Scranton, and we hated them, and they hated us. And you know, it died down, and everybody started getting along, and there was like a conversion of like you know Scranton kids and Wilkesbury kids, you know, getting along, you know, putting shows on together. But then all of a sudden, after like the decay and death of punk rock around here that's kind of when it died and now it's like this hardcore thing but like you have kids like us we're metal band we're kind of frowned upon but you know we still have our ties in the punk rock and hardcore scenes you know and like it's it's whatever we're gonna keep doing what we do whether or not anybody likes it but yeah it's like an east coast west coast thing <laughs> As long as there's no shootings, right? No. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, that that no, that's cool, man. I, that's I, I I didn't know that, you know, because I'm mainly you know in the metal scene, so yeah. you know that that's wow, wow. We're, we're we're punk rock kids playing metal. Yeah, that's what it comes down to. It's like that's all it comes down to. We are punk rock kids playing metal. Yeah, that's it. That's that's you cool. Know? That's because cool, man. The, you know, most of the metal stuff we listen to and, like, you know, I wouldn't say I grew up on, well, I don't know. You you could hear punk rock influences in metal and, like, crossover. Yeah. Uh, how could, yeah. How could oh, you yeah. deny that? There was a punk rock influence in that. And punk rock and metal go hand in hand. Yeah, and yeah. And as it should. Everybody should be united support each other's scenes, have a good time, support the shows, support the local bands. That's all I'm saying. I think we should all just get along, but as long as you don't get along with us, we're not going to get along. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. That's killer, man. That's awesome. Uh, so I think all the Luzon County listeners tuned out. But <laughs> 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 uh, we'll we'll have them back next week, <laughs> guys. Uh, let's play another song. Fuck it, let's do it, man. What do you want to play? Uh, let's surprise everybody. Pick one of the songs from uh one through. See, I I I don't um. I, I don't label our CDs or anything, so this is why we're just picking a random song. Let's pick a random. Let's check let's five. Pick a random song. Let's five. Five. Yeah. All right, man. Uh, there we go. All right, gang. Track five. Track five. <laughs> <Cell 13. laughs> I'll, t- I'll tell you the name after <laughs> the song is played. We'll yeah. be back with Billy and Chad, man.
You said it, Billy. You said it, Billy. <laughs> All right, gang. Whoa. There we go. All right. I had the stream on. I had the stream on. Damn it. That was my final tap moment for the night. <laughs> oh, guys. So awesome. Fucking awesome. I'm over here jamming. That that's again, it's simple. It's to the point. It's it's a fucking punch to the throat. It's it's awesome, man. Awesome. I, I wish there was more bands like you guys in, in the area. Awesome. There will be. Awesome. And, <laughs> and, you know, like, you know, just, just right off here, you know, I was saying uh, Earth Mouth. Uh, the, the, the same, I mean, the, two totally different, you know, I mean, they're like more stoner metal. Yeah. But, you know, it's the same thing, man. They're fucking raw, in your face. I mean, that that's, again, not that over-polished or yeah. over-produced sound. It's fucking awesome. I love it. I love it. And, <laughs> Like when Cell 13 first started, um, <coughs> two bands in this area that were doing it. It was Cell 13 and Earth Mouth, and yeah, two of the heaviest bands in Scranton, man. And you know, just out of nowhere, yeah, they, we both started almost Simon Simon hit simultaneously. Yeah. Oh shit! Oh wow! And, wow! And we're like, all right, now we can start getting shows together. We got. Two bands are like a you know that fit together now. Like we're not playing with these like weird off bands that like we don't mesh mesh with and uh, like so like their fans don't get us and our fans don't get those bands. Now we got two bands that are good together. Their fans like us, our fans like them. And then from you know, there, that's just cool. Snowballs. That's cool because your fans are being introduced to new music. Their fans, vice versa. Yeah, and you know it, it, it's so fucked up trying to put a show together. Well, you know, man, you put a lot of shows together. Yeah. And, uh, uh, and and you got like three or four different bands with three or four different styles and then uh -huh. their friends come to see them play and then they go home because they don't want to yeah. hear the other shit. Yeah. You know? Sometimes, though, you get those few people that will sit there, open their mind and actually, you know, like really listen to the other bands and like, you know, like actually start to like them like if I book a show, I'll book anybody, a any kind of band. But I don't know. I just I just want people to open their minds and just. Well, man, that's what it's all about. Yeah. That's, you know, and like you're, you're, again, now that's what the show's about. Unsigned, independent, man. And I always say, stick around. You yeah. might hear your next favorite band. Yep. Yeah. You know, because you, most of the music. Uh, most of the listeners never heard before. Yeah. You're, you're. I'm yeah. sure most of the listeners tonight never heard Cell Thirteen until tonight, yeah. and you know yeah. you, you might be their new favorite. You know, I, that, I could you know, hope. Yeah, yeah, but that's that's yeah. the that's the whole purpose, man, of putting the spotlight on you guys, man. Yeah. Where where it fucking belongs, as far as I'm concerned, where it belongs. Yeah, you know, because the fucking uh, mainstream scene we were talking before, it, it's. In America, it's shit. Yeah, yeah. it's shit. <laughs> yes, but you go over to like Europe or something. No, South America, man, Japan. Yeah. They're fuck. They go fucking nuts. Yeah. You know, I I gotta say, when I was down in Texas, I had a really good time. Really good scene down there in Austin, Texas, which was awesome, because I was expecting to go down there and like you know, not be that big of a deal, but. It was. Everybody was really cool. You know, oh, you need a place to stay. Here's some pod. Here's some beer. <laughs> yeah. you know, like, just just come stay here. Like, uh, the guy I was staying with, he was like, yo, you bring home a girl, man. You can have my bedroom and everything. I was like, dude, you are awesome. But I, that, that's a fucking hookup right there, man. <laughs> I actually came close. You know, some girl was like, oh, do you got a lighter? And I'm like, yeah. And, you know, I was watching the Melvins through a window, and she goes, oh, don't these guys kind of seem like a hippie band? I grab my lighter and go back and say, you're not going to fucking call the Melvins a fucking hippie band. <laughs> <laughs> no way in hell. But that was my 
probably my Dude, only chance to get right laid. there, that fucking shows dedication <laughs> yeah. to your fucking music when you yep. turn down pussy. You yep. know? <laughs> I, tried, I turned it right down. I was like, I'm not talking to you anymore. I don't want anything to do with this. <laughs> oh, that's fucking awesome, man. Oh, shit. Oh, God almighty. Uh... I, since since you guys have been around, what, in a couple years now? Two years? Uh, probably longer than that. About four. Four? Yeah, oh, four yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, have you evolved as a band since the beginning, man? We got heavier. Yeah. <laughs> That's about it. It still <laughs> just gets heavier. Yep. Still the same ideas. Still the same. Well, not the same people, but... You know, same ideas, same structure, everything. We just get heavier and heavier and heavier as it goes on, which is awesome. Cool. You know? Cool, man. We're not advancing as musicians. We're still kind of the same. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't matter. You Play know? like cavemen would. Yep. <laughs> exactly. Cavemen. <laughs> Dude, but now, uh, y you get those guys that... Uh, yeah, they'll write a song and it's a five minute solo you yeah, know from yeah. beginning to end and they're you know arpeggios and you know yep. string sweeps and the whole you know they get real technical from beginning to end but yep. you guys don't do that and it, it's fucking just as killer yep. or even more so in my opinion man that <coughs> if we did it would all be him I'm always telling him you know I, I, wrote, I wrote this riff for you know to, for you to solo over do whatever you want right there. And he's like, oh, okay. <laughs> I, I just wing those. Yep, yep. All the <laughs> solos that you ever hear Cell 13 do are last second, just randomness. It might turn out good. It, it might be bad. It might be well, really, who knows? Really it's bad. a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Hey, um, oh, yeah. By the, by the way, uh, the last song was Room 32. Room 32. Room 32. Okay, that the last song that was played was Room Thirty Two. If anybody cares, <laughs> uh, everybody cares. I, 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 I'm writing them down, man. So I'm gonna tag everything later. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Uh, let's see. Uh, labels. Let's talk labels, man. Are you guys interested in a label? Are you looking for one, or just not? If it comes. It comes if it happens. It happens if mainly I don't know how you feel, but I just I want to go on weekend tours. I want to get out there. I want to get into different cities. I just want to go party and have fun. You want to get in Luzerne County, right? Yeah, right <laughs> in Luzerne County. How many times have we actually played there? Oh, uh, once, twice, twice for. <laughs> That one like benefit for that oh, house, for dude, yeah. and um, one time, uh, for like three people at was it far Liam's, Liam's place. Yeah, <laughs> it was like three people there. Yeah. Oh. So, no, we won't be playing there any. No, we we would. We'll play anytime, anywhere. But that now that's the thing, man. That's. You know, whether it's fucking 2,000 people or, or three people. Yep. You, you guys We're are there, right? Yeah. I mean, you'd rather the 2,000 yeah. people. Yeah. Yeah. Right? That's a better paycheck at the Sometimes. end of the night. <laughs> 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 no, but that's cool, man. That's good. Again, that's, you know, because it's about the music. It's not fucking, you know, I, you know, we were saying before, if you're in it for a fucking paycheck, you're in the wrong business. Yep. You know? Yeah, as long as there's, like, one guy who's like, hey, that was cool, and they, yeah. want, they want a CD or something. Fine. That, that yeah. makes me feel great. That, and, that, and, again, that that's the right reasons, man, and that, yep. that's what it's all about, man. That That's awesome. That's awesome. So, But labels, again, uh, and again, the fucking industry in this country, man, right? Yeah. Uh, it's shit. It's there, shit. There is good, like, you know, like, indie labels, and distros and stuff like that. You could find a really lot of good stuff out there, but it's it's the internet, you know, like I knew starting any kind of band, like as I grew up and, you know, time went on, it's just the internet, the YouTube, downloading music. <laughs> That's why I have most of the stuff on 
most of the Cell 13 stuff online for free. You know, if you really want to support the bands, like buy a t-shirt, buy a patch, buy a sticker, buy pins, come out to the shows, you know, like, it's at that point right now where people don't really buy music, they just download, download it. Download it, yeah. But then again, you have people like us who collect records. Yeah. Records are like a big thing again. Like, people are buying like seven inches, full lengths, and stuff like that, which is awesome. So, so any any plans to have Cell Thirteen on vinyl? Um, the new stuff that we record, I do plan on to have it on vinyl. That's cool. I am going to do it. It's pricey. I can imagine. I'm, yeah, I'm going to yeah. do it. <clears throat> just just for me myself to own at least. <laughs> you know, we'll, we'll print one. You could borrow it. <laughs> Facebook message me. I'll mail it to you. You just have to mail it back. <laughs> It'll come back with like, the stickers from all over the world. You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, but we're going to release probably a 7-inch. I would love to anyways. Yeah, that would be cool. Have some badass artwork that folds out into like a poster. <laughs> yeah. <of> you. <laughs> yeah. Fucking spread eagle. <laughs> There's not much to see. Yeah, yeah, get the ladies, though. The ladies would love that. <laughs> oh shit! So, uh, and again, analog versus digital, man. Analog. I mean, digital is it's it is what it is, yeah. but they're not. You can't be the analog, man. No, um, most of our stuff is recorded on digital only because of price, right? Right. But if we had more money, we would go with the analog. Pretty much, yeah. We were, we were supposed to, we're probably going to end up recording on analog when we go in to record. So, see how that goes. Cool, cool. Cause, I mean, there, there's, there's nothing. I mean, you know, it, again, digital, it is what it is, but yeah. there, there's just something about analog that yep. digital doesn't capture. No. No. Awesome, guys. So, um, let's see. What would you guys say is like the ultimate goal for Cell Thirteen, man? What 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 would you like to see happen? Uh, <laughs> Release some vinyl, get some yeah. new T-shirts, and go on tour out of town. That's yeah. all we really want to do. We want to get out there, and that's it. That's it. Cool. So cool. have a good time. Well, I mean, like, I mean, well, like, uh, you know, some bands say they they would eventually like to quit their day jobs. I mean, is that? I mean, you guys even reaching that far? Or? We're from. Well, I'm from Scranton, Pennsylvania. I'm gonna work till the day that I fucking die. Yeah. So there's no Word. way around that. <laughs> I'm Word. Going to work and work and work throughout factories. Any kind of job that I could get, I am still going to work. But as soon as something happens, as they say that, oh, you know, we're going to book this small weekend, week-long tour, I'm probably going to lose that job, but you know, <laughs> I'll find another one. Yeah. But I will continue to work. I will never quit. Cool. Billy, what, what do you say, man? Uh, yeah, if we were to do, like, a tour for a week, I got vacation days. Like, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. And and again, here we go. It goes back to fucking doing it for the right reasons, yep. man. Yep. But you know, yeah, I I love you guys, man, for that. That that's you're you're fucking down to earth, no egos. Yeah. And <laughs> you know what it's really about. That that's awesome. Let's let's do another song. Let's do it. Pick a number. What's uh, that one? Um <laughs> What's that one? Let's do uh Visions, that's like the... Yeah. Let's see that one. Number three, I think. Number three? Yeah, track three. Okay, gang. Visions from Cell 13. We'll be right back with Billy and Chad.
All right, gang. We're back with Chad and Billy. They like the Elephant Man song, yes. buddy. Dude, I got a million of them. They're all fucked up like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Another killer song, man. Another, yeah, honest. Uh, that was uh, Prisoner, right? I no, got, that no. was Visions. Visions, Visions, that Visions. Was visions. I, see it. I didn't write it down. That's what fucking threw me mm-hmm. off. <laughs> I'm writing them down, and as I'm, I'm gonna tag them, I promise. Oh, <laughs> uh, guys, fucking awesome! Uh, this, is, this has been a fucking awesome night. You guys, you know, you're w- welcome back here anytime. This is fucking fantastic. I, we we, we could just fucking shoot the shit and not even talk about music, man. That that's yeah, you know, this this is awesome. Uh, let's see. Uh, Chet, you got a big show I want to talk about tomorrow night man um tell us about it man because it, it, it's it's uh it's it's more than just a show to you man yeah. right so t- tell us about it um tomorrow Scranton Pennsylvania at Trips Park Community Center I am throwing a benefit for my mother who has been put through hell and back but she's still alive because she is the strongest woman that I've ever fucking known of course i'm gonna say that she's my mother but still you know it's for her to help with the bills that are starting to come in and they're very overwhelming but uh it's incest burner blood eagle set set your graha <laughs> from philly um well, I like my mind is so jumbled right now. I know a lot of bands like we're dr- Maniac uh, still on it. Maniac is still on it. Awesome old school hardcore punk band from the area. Vulture Peak who took yeah. our spot, which is awesome. Um, and my buddy Ron, uh, Hypnotic Infected Bloodline. I believe <laughs> that's the name. But he does, like, uh, electronic stuff, and it's not just the guy sitting there with the computer. He has all these pedals and all these samplers and everything, and it's one of the coolest things I've ever seen. I love her on. Uh, but, yeah, it's a benefit show for my mother. If you could come out and support, that would be great. It starts at 5. You know, come out, support the bands. Give to the raffle. Um, there's going to be food, beer. You got to be 21, though. Yeah. I'm checking IDs. I am personally. <laughs> um, and it's $10 to get in. Come, have fun, hang out, listen to good music, support a good cause. It couldn't be a better cause. Yeah. It couldn't be. I mean, dude, it, your mom, Jesus, right? I mean, everybody, like, everybody knows my mom. I walk in and. Well, you know, I, okay. I think I'm related to you. <laughs> well, no, I was just going to say now, because uh, uh, when I, I was watching your post, and I seen you post about uh, the benefit, yeah. I'm like, oh. I, and I said to my wife, I said, are, are you related to the Dietrich? Yeah. And she said, oh, yeah, yeah. She goes, yeah, they're my cousins. And I, you know, and I yep. told her, I said, your mom? And she said, oh, yeah, yeah, she's my cousin. And I said, yeah. well, well, what about Chad? You know, Chad? And she goes, well, you, of course I know him. You know? <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, like I'm some kind of dumbass. Or, well, I am, all right? Yeah. <laughs> but no, but, you know, small world, man. That's, yeah. you know, that, that was really cool. Yeah. Really cool. Hey, you know, a lot of people have been being really supportive of, of this because, you know, like, my mom is has always been very supportive of the bands, you know, me practicing in the bedroom, oh, yeah. coming out to the shows. Like, Cell 13, when we first started, like, we practiced in my bedroom in the projects. Oh. <laughs> so, like, it was really loud. She would yell at us, but, you know, she was still very supportive. Come out to the shows, wear the T-shirts. She always supported me, and especially, like, everybody else, like, you know... I don't know. What would the world be like without Mama Cheryl? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Not a very good place, especially for me. And again, that's awesome, awesome yeah. man, that you're doing this. That's, that's And again, well, go re- recap it, man. When, when and where? Scranton, Pennsylvania. <laughs> Trips Park Community Center. And doors open at 5, and it's $10 to get in. That's tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. Friday. The 11th. Yeah. December 11th. Yes. yes. 
Awesome, awesome. What other shows you got going on? Um, right now, I have a gore grind show Saturday that is going to blow the roof off of the Irish Wolf Pub. <laughs> Peter's ready. <laughs> but, um, that. And as far as I know, I have nothing really booked. I, I'm working on some things, but uh, I'm, I've been talking to my buddy Mike, and I think we're going to attempt this coming spring. We're going to do a three-day fest in Scranton. Cool, cool. Two or three days. Well, we're going to start off small, but cool. we're, we're definitely going to do that. I don't know if it's going to be at different venues around, if, like, you know, people let us do it, or it's just going to be outside. Um, it, we're still in the early stages of that, but he has a lot of connections to New York and Philly, and I have connections pretty much everywhere <laughs> that are starting to come from, like, you know, like, me booking all these shows, trying to bring, like, real dirty underground metal and punk to Scranton. Killer. Well, now let's talk a little bit about that because uh, you, you, you're not just in two bands. You also do the the bookings and the yes. promotions on, on the side. You're putting shows together and yeah. stuff. So tell, tell us a little about, about that, man. If you want to save your money and you want to, you know, just save your money, don't book shows. I'm only <laughs> kidding, but I... Uh, <laughs> I hear you. Um, pretty much, it's just me just emailing bands, bringing them here. The band, I, I brought a band that has been around since 1998. They're called Fistula. They're from Ohio, and their lead singer is from Boston. Now, they... Pretty much, I booked them a show, and they planned a tour around it. So, that's, like, just, like, you know, cool shit that, like that's that. That's cool. Um, pretty much any band that contacts me, I will put you on a show until you give me a reason not to. But I'm willing to work with anybody, any kind of band. I don't know. What shows have I done so far? The Fistula Show. Fistula, you did. Led uh, to the Grave led from to Boston. The grave. Yeah, that's great. Um, the Halloween show up at Nayog Park. Um, a band called... Ab Abstructor? Abstructor. Yeah. They... Now, th I, I'm not tooting my own horn or anything, but they contacted me, and they wanted a show on that date. So I was like, you know what? Just me only. I have a band from Boston that wants to play. Can we put them on? And she's like, yeah, sure, they're great. They sound so good. All right, they want a guarantee? The show's free. I paid them out of my own pocket. Why not? I'm bringing another great band to Scranton. And people are still talking about Obstructor. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, yeah. They're back. Yeah, they're man. back. They were they're coming else. back. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. So where can... The folks contact you, man, for uh, the, the want to jump on a show or, or Maximus Booking and Promotion. Just search for it on Facebook. Get my own Facebook, Chattius Maximus. Call me, write me a letter, contact me any way you can, and we'll work something out. That's the only way I can put it. Cool, cool. And again. He said you'll you'll book anybody until yep. there's a reason not to book them. So that's pretty much on them. Yeah, that you know, and <laughs> and, and you know again, that's the way it should be. Yep. If you're gonna show up and be fucking divas or or fucking assholes, please don't be divas. With me. <laughs> yeah. I do not deal well with people <laughs> acting like divas. Where's my chair? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're it, not going to get any, uh, a, a tray of cold cuts at the Wolf Pub, that's for sure. <laughs> well, no, if a band does ask for food, I will provide them with food. Hey, there you go. <clears throat> and beer. <laughs> food and beer, if they ask for it. But, you know, like most bands like that, you know, they're bigger, and I want to accommodate them, you know, because 
booking some shows around here, you know, it's kind of hard because not a lot of people know who these bands are. Right, right. But I will accommodate you. If you want a guarantee, if you want food, if you want beer, if you want drugs, it doesn't <laughs> matter. Come talk to me. I will book you in the city of Scranton, Pennsylvania. Uh, any restrictions on, on farm animals? <laughs> Anything to do with animals, you're a piece of shit. <laughs> That that's all I'm gonna say. I, no. <laughs> oh shit! This is what I mean. There, there's like no limits at this show, man. This you know. <laughs> oh shit! That that's great though. That's yeah. great, man. Uh, where can the listeners find uh, Cell Thirteen? Uh, PAHardcore.com slash Cell Thirteen. That's pretty much it. Facebook, YouTube. Facebook. We only have like what 170 fans on there. Let's get some. <laughs> let's get some likes. On yeah, there. yeah, get over there. Sell yeah, 13 yeah. on Facebook. Get your asses over there and give them a like right now, man. Um, YouTube has our full EP, our full demo. It has live videos, and that's pretty much it. Uh, Facebook is terrible for bands, by the way. Yeah, <laughs> it's terrible. My it space is, it was is. so much it, better. Right? No yeah. shit. No shit. So much better because, you know, you had your music player, you had your pictures, you could put videos on there. Now Facebook is just like, you can't even, you don't have a music player. Yeah, that kills, that's what kills it, I think, for yeah. music on Facebook. And, and now, what'd you say, 170? Yeah, six, right? something around so there. So if you post something, how many people are they going to fucking let's see it? Three? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. You know? <clears throat> It was like MySpace, you put something out there, everybody, yep. everybody saw it. Yep. Yeah, yeah, I miss those fucking days. Yeah, man. Being, yeah. being in a band with MySpace around, you know, like there was a lot of bullshit bands, like a lot of joke bands that people would start, but also that's how I found out about a lot of bands, right, you know, which right. was awesome. But also, I'm the kind of guy that still goes into a music store and I'll look at CDs, I'll look at records, anything, and I will still go by what they look like on the CD. Like if I if I turn a CD over and it's four or five guys dressed just like normal people, I'm gonna buy that CD because they're not all flashy and everything. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. No, I hear you. I, I'm just I rambling hear you. now. No, <laughs> no, no. I hear you. No. No, well, that's, you know, I, I, I was the same way when fucking, uh, you know, I, fucking 30 years ago, you know, back in the 80s or whatever, but uh, same thing, man, you know, I mean, if I, I turned it around and they had that fucking, you know, that old school metal look, man, I mean, you know, it was the fucking, the leather, the, gauntlets, the, the leather spikes, yeah, studs. you know, yeah. that was the first thing, you know, yeah. and then you're looking at the title track, or, you know, the tracks, uh, uh, their, their titles, and you're like, oh, fuck, yep. you know, just, uh, <laughs> uh, Madam X, old school metal band, man, and it was like, uh, uh, metal in my veins, yes. you're high in high school, <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know I was like, you know, Never heard them before, but I fucking bought it and I fell yeah, in love with them. Awesome right? It, yeah, you know? you know. But I, I, I hear you, man. I dig it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I try not to listen to music on YouTube and stuff, but like I, I'd rather go out and buy a record or a CD still because I'm insane. Yeah, I miss the days when you could when you you had to go to the the record store and like take a chance, like. Oh, this album has a skull on it. <laughs> it, it, it could be good, or it could be the Grateful Dead. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, yeah. yeah. Which Billy <laughs> does like the Grateful I do, Dead. I, I, don't do, like I, do, I do like them, but they're not as good as other bands with skulls <laughs> on their albums. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, that, that name was so fucking deceiving, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> put it uh, first time I put them on. I was like, "What the fuck is this?" <laughs> 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 oh shit! Oh guys, let's uh, let's do one more song before we fucking go, man. What, what do you what do you want to do? You pick again. Um, let's do another old one. Let's do uh, Gates. I have no idea what number that uh, is. I don't know when you pick. <laughs> uh, uh, track number 
Eight. Eight. All right, gang. Track eight from Cell 13. <laughs> we'll tell you what it is when we come right uh -huh. back with Chad and Billy, man. All the animals come out at night. Whores, skunk pussies, buggers, queens, fairies, dopers, junkies. Sick, venal. Someday a real rain will come and wash all this scum off the streets. Shit, you know, I keep fucking forgetting to mute the stream, man. <laughs> what the fuck? I go, well, that, that's it. Because I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing because I'm having such a good time yeah. tonight, man. And I, I get, guys, I want to thank you. It's been fucking a blast. Yeah, it's I, I wish I've had you guys over sooner. This is, this is <laughs> fucking awesome. We'll be over and, again. Uh, yeah, exactly, exactly. you definitely welcome back anytime. Uh, that, uh, you can definitely hear the punk influence in that song, man. That Awesome, awesome. And that's a perfect mesh of metal and punk right yes. there yeah awesome awesome which is actually that song for you people out there is called cesspool cesspool and i'm writing it down cesspool there we go wow so let's uh recap we got about 10 minutes man your upcoming show is your big show tomorrow night yeah that's uh the benefit at trips park right yep trips park community center ten dollars to get in which Cell 13 isn't playing anymore. Yeah. I should mention that now. Um, <laughs> yeah. Our drummer's son had surgery, and out of respect for them, I took us off of it. Because his son is three years old. Uh, if he, if you're listening, hi, Milo. Hey. Um, <laughs> I'm sitting here with Uncle Bill and another Uncle Bill. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I, I took us off of that out of respect for them, you know, so he could be home with his son and everything. Um, well, that's cool, man. Yeah. Family first. Yep. And, and, family first. And that, that's what the benefit's about, man. Yes. Family. Yep. All right. What, what other shows you got going on? Um, pretty much Cell 13 has one more show on December 19th. I can't remember what city... It's in, it's down by Allentown. Um, that's December 19th. But uh, if you check our Facebook, it's on there. Um, and that's going to be our last show for the year, of course. But for a couple months, um, we're trying to release new music in 2016 and have a bunch of new numbers for all you cats out there. <laughs> yeah, baby. So you could beat your own skull into I don't know <laughs> but we just want to have new music for people out there cool you know cool and again they can find you on YouTube, YouTube. Pennsylvania Hardcore PennsylvaniaHardcore.com Facebook uh, Facebook get, the, get your asses over to Facebook and hit that like button on the South 13 likes. page yeah I'll send you nudes <laughs> <laughs> Most people offer a free download. Like MP3. <laughs> no, you get yeah. free news. <laughs> oh, that's killer, man. Uh, guys, thank you. Thank you for fucking thank coming over tonight, man. Us. 
Listen, yeah, now, at great. the end of every show, I play this tune from a band, I believe, out in Minnesota called Blue Felix. The tune's called Middle Finger Up. And every week, I dedicate the middle finger to something or somebody that's pissed me off the, the week before. <laughs> so, uh, you guys are here. I want you to partake in this with me tonight. Oh, so, <laughs> did I just open a can of worms? You might have. <laughs> so, Billy, we'll start with you, man. Who would you like to dedicate the middle finger to, man? Uh, anybody who's ever uh, doubted that we could play their shows. <laughs> yep. You're cool. missing out on a good time. Chad. <laughs> right now, today, at this moment in time, I'm going to have to go with that hate monger, that piece of fucking shit, Donald Trump. <laughs> oh, fuck him. Just put the gun in your mouth already and blow that fucking toupee off your head. Because <laughs> you know what? You're not getting very far. I, I don't know. I don't like him. I don't like his racism. If you're going to treat people like that, yeah. I, I don't know. Any president, though, I'm... I, no, now I'm going to get political. I don't want to get political. Just Donald <laughs> Trump, you're a fucking asshole. So, Billy, you're dedicating to the, the haters? Yep. And you're dedicating to Mr. Trump? Yep. Awesome, guys. Again, thank you. Thank, it's been a fucking thank blast. You. Stick around for a second. Definitely. Listeners... Uh, again, it can't be done without you. You know, I always say it's the trifecta. It's the bands that send me the music. It's the stations that allow me to air, and it's the listeners that are tuning in. Uh, without those three, I'm just an asshole sitting in my attic with a microphone. So thank you guys for making this happen. Thank you for your support of Unsigned Independent Metal. I will see you next week. As always, be safe. Stay well. Keep it metal.